It's become a morning routine to get up early and head to the beach, which we're doing. It's like 6.30 a.m. And you know, doing that routine walk down the hill. It's Friday, and it's time to go to the beach. To the beach. Going to the beach. This is our hike to the beach. Hey, you didn't take a nap this morning. I know. So I'm proud of you. <laughs> it's the first day I haven't taken a nap because we get up at 6 o'clock, sometimes earlier. So we have some plans for this weekend. Do we now? Please share it. Well, today, because it's our six month anniversary. We do? Yeah. What was our plan? We're going to the beach. <laughs> on the other side. But, see if I can put this here. Coconut and rum on the beach. You know, there's gonna be a time where I'm gonna be so sad I'm not here anymore. But until then, enjoying every second. For our first week here in Costa Rica, we are staying in Playa Flamingo. And to describe it, I would say it's definitely a place to relax. The beach um, is, I wouldn't say dead, but in comparison to Tamarindo, I think it's gonna be, I know, but I think, that's why I said I think, it's going to be a lot more active over there with tourists. So many people here. Pollo, pollo, pollo. Hmm. <laughs> so... Pollo. Spicy or regular? Uh, spicy. Pollo. Pollo. Thank you. Uh, we're missing the egg. Thank you. So you make your tacos with this or this, okay? Okay. Here there's tourists too, but it's like a 
it's like a resort town with families and older people. So if you're looking for cars and live music, I wouldn't recommend Playa Flamingo. Um, but I like the beach because it's calm. I wish there were this way. Great for kids. Yeah, great for kids. I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend it for a group of college I would students. It to my to, you know, the young crowd. But it's, it's beautiful. You're surrounded by water. But. It's all families and older people. There's not a lot of places to eat, and you know, they have Taco Tuesday, $2 tacos. So I'm excited for the next destination, although I'm grateful for all the surrounding beaches here. What do you say about Playa Flamingo? Um, it's for old people. I would recommend it to my grandma. And it's really nice and relaxing. It's very calm. Not a lot of choices for restaurants, not a lot of first stands. You just don't get as many choices here. And if you don't have a rental car or scooter or something, and you live on top of the place, it's a hell of a Yes. There's actually no first stands here. Um, but there is a pharmacy market on Lake Street. Um, and you can get a lot of food there. Yeah, I'm going to get a lot of food there. I there was like so. Flies are killing me. They're everywhere. Time to eat after a two pina colada drink. Sleep good tonight. I'll eat it, but it's not good. So we're here at the Margarita Hotel, and the food is trash. Trash. Don't ever come here. Maybe it's COVID budget prices. They're getting their fish from like the pond or something. Fish is dry. My Caesar salad wasn't cold, and croutons were old. It was all bad. It was cheap. Honestly, though, we should have we should have known. Really? I feel like at a resort, you know. True. I'm hungry, but it's still trash. We're probably gonna return our fish and chips, our fish salad. Breakfast at Breaking Bread. 
do you think about Tim Miranda so far? It's nice for a couple days. Oh. Thank you. We're missing the eggs. Oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Some places don't use sugar in their coffee, but 